running out of time. Be 44, I turn around. I'm in the game, you out of bounds. How you looking down when you looking up? Wanna be us? Talk behind my back and pump my switch of blood. That nigga broke, he riding right. He selling soap, it's coke and right. I see him on a habit night. Claiming that he paid for chasing. All he do is rap about drugs, sex, and violence. That nigga, they ain't from the pavement. All the rappers play, I hate them. You a think he would have made it. I remember early stages hustling. I ain't had no place. What's going on everybody? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News and today I got another artist for you guys. He go by the name of Coach Prophet. He's off of that west side, that uh that Garden City slash Hudson Hill area, that uh western part of side of town. And also about the Paper Chasing ENT, which he's a part of. Uh the members of Paper Chasing ENT is a uh, Hudson Ratching, Hudson Hennessy, Coach Prophet, Mac Mel, PCE Caution. Scooter Bass and also Big Dog Fee, I believe he's in jail right now. And also another member of PCE is Chuck Raw. I actually did a video of Chuck Raw in one of my earlier videos that I posted. And like every other artist that I cover, I get in contact with them, except for probably one, and that was Flaw J. But like every other artist I get in contact with, I uh, just ask them what they want me to put out there as far as information. And what I can say about Coach is he's probably one of the most dedicated uh, rappers out there because I actually had a phone conversation with him just to see, you know, what he want me to put out there and just to get a little bit more information, get a little bit more information about him as an artist. And one of the main things that he was saying is uh, he's very passionate about this. Uh, he's been rapping for quite some time now, I believe, for a little bit more than three years. This mixtape. That I'm showing you guys uh, stand for something, fall for anything. Uh, I'm actually uh, review some of the songs off here. Uh, by the way, this mixtape is from 2013. But anyway, uh, he was really passionate in that phone conversation. He was just saying some things that um, what was really inspired him to rap. And during that phone conversation, he was saying one of his uh, close friends or uh, comrades he lost this year due to gun violence and. He said that was the one that was really pushing him to rap. And he was saying that if it wasn't for him, he probably wouldn't be rapping. And not only that, he was shot earlier this year. I believe six or seven months ago, he was shot. A attempt was made on his life. Uh, I'm glad he's still living because I wouldn't be doing a, a, mu a music cover for him. Now, about his musical content, I would classify him underneath the genre of gangster rap. And I will say that because of his musical content, uh, what he talks about. A lot of the stuff that he talks about is uh, what goes on on the side of town, uh, the conflicts, the, uh, the the drugs, and you know just everything else that that comes along with uh, street content. And some of the the major songs that I like off his mixtape. And by the way, yes, I do listen to you guys twice because I do have to give a review. But some of the main songs that I really like listen to is his third track on there called Hater. Um, he got another track on there called Money Bags, and Money Bags features uh, Chuck Raw, and another track on there that features Chuck Raw is uh, I Love Money. That's the track after that one, and what I like about those two tracks is it features Chuck Raw, which is, he is a part of uh, PCE. But what I also like about it is that I feel like Chuck Raw is more of his his yang to yo yang and what i mean by that is when i hear both of y'all on the track it feels more cohesive i feel 
when you when Coach Profit comes on track first, you know, he get his flow and then when I hear Chuck Raw, he comes on the track a little bit later, you know, it, the, the flow switches up and it's just it's just really cohesive and it sounds um, it sounds well when both you guys are together. Another track on here, uh, No Mercy. I really like No Mercy because I feel like it really portrays what's going on, like I said, in his side of town, uh, what's going on in his life, uh, how people just get crossed out in the streets. Just, you know, just, you know street conflict, that's what that that track on here is really uh is talking about and he has another track on here uh in these streets in these streets uh he has a video for that i actually intro with this video and very dope video asn media shot the video if you guys haven't follow asn media on youtube please do they got the most uh hottest rappers in the game on his uh on his channel now he does have some other music coming out pretty soon uh, he has some uh, a collaboration album with the people in his camp on another mixtape. I haven't listened to that one. I just wanted to listen to uh, him strictly. And what I can say is I really like his content. Uh, even though this mixtape was made in 2013, I would like to see another mixtape drop this year, which I know he is dropping another one. But I'm just really waiting for it to drop. I really want him to drop that before the year is over. Or if not, if he could drop it by the beginning of January, I think that that would be a good move for him as well. Another thing I would like to see from him, I would like to see like a a joint uh, mixtape or a joint tape with uh, Chuck Raw. Because like I said, I, I feel like Chuck Raw is like the yin to your yang. I feel like if I hear both of y'all on a mixtape, I mean, I would go you know crazy. I, I really like the content both of you guys spit and more so how he got my attention he got my attention just like how Joshi Luciano got my attention when I seen his videos on ASM media and that's another good way to get attention from a lot of people locally just produce uh, make more videos uh, he are he's already uh, got videos uh, I believe his latest video dropped a few days ago but he's doing all the right things I just want him to drop a little bit more uh, mixtapes you know like I said I, I want him to drop a little bit something more recent yeah so I'm definitely waiting to see what he has in store as an artist because I'm, I'm waiting to see what he's gonna drop he's dropping videos uh, more frequently now so I just want him to drop a mixtape drop an album drop a a joint tape with uh, members of your group I mean do do anything uh, but you know I, I do like what I hear from you But yeah guys that's all I have for today Check out some of his music Some of his music videos I'll link the description of his uh, mixtape In this video But that's all I have for right now It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News And I'm out Take my life Oh no this can't be life I'm surrounded by all this hate Trying to make it out Before they take me out I suggest you keep it on safety Take my life can't be like I'm surrounded by all this hate trying to make it nah, out before they take nigga. me out I suggest Home you keep it on safe Play it close to this the Tosha. No, it teach me nothing when a nigga I just struggle. Used to be homeboys, murk them on a Sunday. His old girl told him the shit I happened one day. Why do you roll with he rolling but not watching? Blind to the facts, all he want is a check. About to lose his life over some shit he can't regret. Cause he dead and his little brother next. Cause he wanna be like you and you play the fucking fool. All you wanted in life was bitches and shoes and it ain't about all that. It's the reason why some niggas don't got money. Feel where I'm coming from. Lose your life from a gun.